The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good morning, folks. Welcome to the July 16th, the terrific Tuesday edition of today's Trader Z Show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. And let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. Now, the easiest way to do that is to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two by four shift, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We'll go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I at just past 11 o'clock in the morning. I want you to know I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here. But even more important than that, and that's this, during this next 53 minutes, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to give us a call, 877-927-6648. Now, if you've got a question but you can't call in, I've got your back. You can send me an email. Please send that off early and send it to steve at tfnn.com. Inside the subject heading, please put radio show question. And, of course, if you're inside our Tigers, then, well, then any and every ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on Terrific Tuesday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to the show. We begin our day with a slightly mixed bag now. Things are kind of moving in a same, similar direction. The NDX 100 is down about seven points. Spot about index is down 12 cents, but still above its 50 day exponential moving average. You got the Dow up 582, SP's up 27, Russell's up 50 points, two and three tenths percent out there. Semis just turned slightly positive. Trend is up 323, a 2% move there. Gold's up one and three tenths percent, 32 bucks. Silver's up a little over 1%, 33 cents. Uh, Lights Me Crude is off 90 pennies. Natural gas up in nickel, 30 year treasury up 21 ticks, printed out at 119.27. Now, our leader in the clubhouse to the upside, dollar wise, is United Health. $28, $29 move over 5%. United Rentals, $21, 3%. Elevens Health, $18, bucks, 3 3.5%. Parker Hannafin, $18, bucks, 3.5%. Molina Healthcare, 6%, 16 buckaroonies. Our shakers to the downside, it is Super Micro Computer, $16 move, less than 2%. LPL Financial, $10, bucks, over 4%. Ameriprise Financial, $9, bucks, 2%. Progressive, down nine, uh, 7 bucks. That's a 3% move. Charles Charles Schwab is up about six bucks, nearly 8% move to the downside. So we got movers and we've got shakers, but where are we going to begin our day? Well, let's go take a look at these two charts out here. Let's begin. Maybe we'll throw a third one in there. Let's take a look at the uh, New York Stock Exchange, the advanced client oscillator. You can see, well, first of all, the advanced client line is at new all-time highs. So that's the first thing. The advanced client oscillator is a reflection of the New York of the advanced client line. It takes a look at the uh, the difference between the thirteen and I'm sorry the nineteen and the thirty nine day exponential moving average out there, and that is now at plus two thirty nine eighty. This is getting in the hypersonic zone out here of being overbought. Now, the last time that we were up at this level was back here on November the third. Uh, that level being. Uh, 274 or 239 right now. In that case, in order to work off that condition, it just simply moved uh, lower for a couple of days out there before the markets resumed higher. Typically, when you get up in these levels, you'll see those diagonal green lines. Typically, you'll see where price continues to move higher, but we get lower highs at Bats Klein Oscillator. Uh, the time before that, we we're up at uh, highs like this was back in uh, March of 2023. Out there, you can see that reading was at 256. And here you can see how the market moved higher while we had a declining advanced client oscillator. That's typically the way that that overbought condition eventually gets worked out. Now, what that's suggesting to us with this signal here is that we could continue to see higher highs coming. Again, you're in the overbought zone. It either, and again, to the extreme overbought zone out there it is going to make a detour 
or it's just simply going to take time before it sets up that uh, topping signal to really work off that overbought condition. Now, what's odd about this is if we take a look at the spot volatilities index, I'll just simply expand out this chart here. Yesterday, it closed above the 50-day exponential moving average. The 50-day right now is printed at 1296. We're trading at 1297. Yesterday's close, the 50-day was at 1296 as well, and our close yesterday was 1312. So was yesterday just a one-hit false breakout move to the upside inside the spot volatilities? I don't know the answer, but the answer will be proven today if price closes back below 1296. And if it does that, then the S&P 500 is back in really a, a bullish mode out there. Again, that New York Stock Exchange is something to be concerned with, but as we took a look at Ordinarily, the way that that works its way off is price moves higher while that advanced client oscillator is moving to the downside out there. I guess lastly, since we were together here, we had the Apogee uh, pivot point come in. I think that was Friday morning, if I'm not mistaken. We're trading well above that level inside the ES Mini. This is a short-term uh, time frame indicator, that level being 56.42.20. 4.15 in the NQ, we're above that level. That's short-term bullish. Gold is in the same position, but price trade above 24.11.30. Silver doing the same thing, trade above 31.05. Uh, Lights be crude has got resistance. Could it rally up towards that pivot point at 83.39? And right now, the U.S. dollar index just kind of hanging out in this area. So, speaking of the U.S. dollar index, that's Stevie's segue into a question that came in yesterday. Unfortunately, I was unable to be with you as I was doing my uh, service to the uh, county uh, jury service. That was. I wish they could find a little bit better system out there. I was there all stinking day. And then at the end, well, thank you, sir. We don't need your services. See you next year. That's right. I told you, I think this is about the fifth time in just the last 10 years out there. And so what I learned was, yeah, it can be a yearly thing out there. No problem. Happy to do my civic duty out there. But the question was, can we take a look at the U.S. dollar index? And on a daily basis, is this forming some kind of A to B equals CD pattern to the downside? This came in from Hector and Patty. What I explained to Hector yesterday was, first of all, even if I could find an A to B equals CD to the downside, right now it's being usurped by the TD9 count bottom pattern that formed and completed yesterday out there. So that's really the uh, level to be watching uh, because if we're trying to identify an A to B equals CD to the downside, which doesn't exist, and I'm going to show you that here momentarily, um, you know, we don't have to worry about it. Maybe you worry about it should you uh, uh, should you uh, break through that 103.69 level. And when I say break through, I mean close below it. So you've got a TD9 count bottom. Now, what price should do is price should rally from here. Earlier this morning, I had a new profile that was attempting to form. That was on my white background system out there. And so in lieu of a, a new profile that's forming, price should now rally up to resistance. That resistance inside the U.S. dollar index is at the 104.81 level. Now, if I were to try to put an A to B equals CD pattern out here, Hector and Patty, it would look like this. The A point looks like it's the high from June 28th. Then the B point, B point's going to be the low here on July 8th. The C point, the next high that comes in is that next trading session. And if we take a look at that retracement level, it's a 31% retracement level. And we like to get really as close as we can to a point three eight two in order for it to really be an A to B equals CD to the downside pattern. Which, by the way, this one would tell us we'd get to maybe about 103.56 out there. But we don't have to worry about that because we already have a bottom signal inside the U.S. dollar index. You had asked about the weekly time frame. Now, when we take a look at the weekly time frame, we'll do that we come back from this breakout here, I can't put up the current contract. I just don't get enough data. So I have to use this other, there's one of two other symbols to take a look at it. We'll take a look at the US dollar index, the weekly time frame, as soon as we get back from this break. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. 
Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. We're taking a look at the U.S. dollar index. This is the weekly time frame. This is Stevie's uh, stitched together set of contracts out there. Uh, when I do this, what it does, uh, Hector and Patty, it provides us with a, a set of profiles on the weekly time frame that we can utilize out here. And what you can see is price is just consolidating with inside that set of profile resistance at 106.01. And support is in a zone. The zone is between 103.10 and 103.93 out there. So uh, no A to B equals CD pattern on the daily or the weekly, but we do have a TD9 count bottom with the weekly chart getting back into its buy zone. It just suggests that we really should see a further rally uh, from here. So I hope that helps you out with regard to the U.S. dollar index. Thanks for waiting an extra day. Now, you don't have to wait a day for this one, and that is the IWM, the Russell 2000, which on a daily basis, price has already attained the 1 to 1.272. A to B equals CD pattern. Its next objective would be 227.23. That's 1.618 level out here. Now, this is a small A to B equals CD pattern pattern that we have out here. You can see in essence we had pretty much a sideways consolidation pattern out there. It wasn't perfect. It wasn't really ideal. We don't have to worry about whether it's perfect ideal because we do have a confirmed A to B equals CD pattern. It was a 0.618. It was really 67% retracement on that B to C leg. That's more like it. Now what you're waiting for here in the daily time frame for the IWM, if it were to form a bearish reversal candle, then we would have a sell the D point pattern. If we look at the weekly time frame chart, which is what you were also referring to, last week confirmed a very large A to B equals CD pattern the upside. Why? Because the swing point or the B point was from March. 25th. The volume there was 116 million shares. We closed above it last week and we did with 174 million shares. This is a 41% retracement. Now, when we do, quite frankly, you do less than a, when you do in between a 0.382 and a 0.618, the closer you are to 0.382, it increases the odds that you're going to do more than a one to one A to B equals CD pattern on the upside. But right now, that's all you're focused on is the one to one level. It's not a guarantee, but it's a fairly decent uh, signal to say, hey, maybe this gets up to 255, the 1.272 expansion. But right now in the weekly time frame, 241.55 is its price target. I'm looking at my other charts out there. I do not have any other kind of a topping signal. 
signal as an example. Last week, the IWM also negated a TD9 count. That was his swing point right here from March the 25th out there. So you've got that topping pattern. We're only in bar number two to the upside. We're only in bar number five on the daily time frame. But the daily time frame does have that A to B equals CD pattern out there. So, yes, you're right on your A to B equals CDs. But on that daily time frame, just be cautious because you could see a sell the D point pattern uh, before the uh, weekly is able to make it up towards its initial price target. Let's go over to my other set of charts out here. Let's take a look at some other requests that have come in. Stevie doesn't want to get too far behind on those, really not behind on any of them. And let's go, so that's the IW one, by the way. Uh, let's go take a look at the RD, uh, oh, no, the XLE. So Fletch would like to take a look at the energy sector. So let's get over and take a look at that. The energy sector, as we speak right now on a daily time frame, it's trying to form an A to B equals CD pattern on the upside. If it can close above the high from July 1st out there, that high is at the 9218 level and do it with more than 12.2 million shares, you'll get a small A to B equals CD pattern on the upside. So far today, you've got 3.7 million shares. So you've got the volume out there. If we look at what's what's holding up price here, uh, Fletch, you can see price is trading above the top of its daily profile. When price settled yesterday, it got back inside there. So that consolidation kind of stays in place out here. But really, it's the weekly chart that is showing you and I where the uh, trouble is. And that trouble is at the uh, uh, green oscillator and change line. It's not trouble unless price uh, does is unable to close above that level. And so that's why we're stalling here. Now, if price can close above that area because the date weekly chart is in a bullish structured profile. So if price can take out its next level of resistance on a daily time frame, we don't see that. So it's really the weekly time frame resistance we're looking at. And that is at 92.40. So if price can close above 92.40 on a weekly basis, Use XLE should make its way to 95.21. You do have 94.71 as a resistance level on the monthly time frame. So the daily is not so much important right now, Fletch, as is the weekly time frame. So that's what I would be watching for, that weekly oscillator and change line. If that juggernaut can fail, you're headed higher. Again, 95.21 being that price target. Triple uh, seven Jack, the one-armed bandit out there, wants to take a look at ticker symbol RDW. Uh, make sure. Am I on the right spot? Yep, I am. Okay. RDW is, uh, well, today, not such a great uh, candle at the moment. That candle is confirming a Rhodes Momentum Indicator Top. Rhodes Momentum Indicator Top identifies when a market is stretched. It isn't giving us the... Uh, the signal that it's ready to really, really move higher. It moves higher, but it says watch for a bearish reversal candle because when you do that, then the muscle starts to collapse. So right now, with regard to Red Wire Corp., that's the signal you're getting. That's the first signal. All right. What's the second signal? The second signal, once you get a top, is what's price doing at support levels? Turns out, when we take a look at RDW, Jack, uh, price is trading at the support level of that first one, that green oscillator and change line. 762, we're trading at 764 at the moment. See if price closes below that. If it does close below that, then what it's going to go tackle is its next level of support, and that would be at 738. If price gets back inside its profile, then it should gain some traction to get back to support. And on a daily basis, red wire have support between 668 and 686. The weekly time frame has a completed TD9 count top. That completed last week. So this suggests that price should pull back to 641. Well, obviously, that would get us into that buy zone on that daily time frame set of profiles out there. And on a weekly, a monthly time frame, you don't no topping signal. You're at bar number seven. The monthly says, I'd really like to get up and touch that 878 level. That is where price had broken down from. But right now, it's going to be the daily and the weekly that are uh, controlling the signal information that you're looking for. Again, watch at 761 level. Watch 738. You get below 738, you start headed to the 668, 686 level, maybe even 641. That's what I see when I take a look at RDW. So, Jack, hope that helps you out. And as always, thank you for your request. Jimmy D wants to take a look at ticker symbol BYON. So BYON is doing what? It's got a nice daily Rhodes Mintum Indicator bottom. So Beyond is now dealing with that first level of resistance. That is the bottom of its profile. That's at 1437. It's rallied up into that and has turned back down. It did that a couple of days ago. Yesterday's when it turned back down. It's taken another run at that level. You know that is significant resistance, Jimmy. If price can close above that, then it should go tackle that next resistance level. And that zone would be between 1521 and 1563. The weekly time frame chart has a uh, bullish, uh, 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 bullish structured profile that formed last week. 
price above the center of that. That suggests that we should see a move up to the top of that profile at 1514. I do not have any kind of bottom pattern associated with the low out here on a weekly time frame, but to a certain extent, we don't necessarily need that because we have that for the daily time frame out there. So 1514, if price goes about 1437, Jimmy, you're looking at 1514 as that target. If you can get above that, then you got that daily sell zone that you and I looked at. And the monthly chart looks pretty bad for Beyond Inc. So your question is, is it ready to move up? 1437 is going to be the key to answer that question out there. So thanks for your request. And as always, you have a terrific Tuesday. We get back from this break here. We're going to go take a look at ABUS. I believe that is Airbus, if that's a, our, I'm sorry, our Arbutus Pharmaceuticals. We'll look at that from Dan. It's in bar number seven of a TD9 count. Looks muy bueno. Looks uh, bullish on the daily, bullish on the weekly. And the monthly says, I want to go tag at least $4 and one penny. We'll be right back. Tigers, it's back. The annual July Tiger Dollar Sale. If you've been wanting to try one of our products, from our stellar newsletters to educative webinars, now is the time. From now until July 22nd, we're offering a 20, 30, even a 40% bonus on Tiger Dollar purchases. After being applied to your account, your Tiger Dollars will be used for all purchases. They can be easily transferred and never expire. If you want to receive a 20, 30, or even a 40% bonus when purchasing Tiger Dollars, now's your chance. This is a perfect opportunity to try out a newsletter or save big on your current subscription. This deal is only available until July 22nd, so lock in your bonuses fast. Go to TFNN.com today to lock in your bonus. TFNN, educating investors. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. The consistency you're looking for is closer than you think. One or two adjustments are usually all you need to change your equity curve from red to green and keep it there. Come join Larry Pesavento Live to learn what separates the winners from the losers. Join Larry Pesavento on the second and fourth Friday of every month for three hours of live trading from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Eastern Time, where Larry will show you the market setting up and most important of all, the state of mind of a winning trader. By watching Larry trade, you'll learn the Fibonacci levels. You'll learn how to apply A to B to C to D trading patterns. You'll learn trade management, pattern recognition, and much more. Join Larry Pesavento Friday, July 12th and Friday, July 26th, 9 a.m. to noon Eastern Time for three hours of live trading. For this month only, use promo code LarryJuly24 at checkout to save $50 on your first month's subscription. For all the information and to reserve your spot today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. This portion of the Trader's Edge is brought to you by Direction's Daily Leveraged and Inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC.
Welcome back, folks. We're taking a ticker symbol ABUS. That is uh, Arbutus uh, Biopharma out here. So the daily time frame, you can see that uh, no topping uh, signal whatsoever. We took out a Rosemont indicator top um, yesterday out there with a close above the June 6th high. We can see a number of A to B equals CD patterns to the upside that are out here. Uh, looks like it wants to rally further down to me. As I take a look at the weekly time frame chart, it's in the process of negating a Rosemont indicator top for the week of June 7th. The volume there was 6 7 million shares so far you've done 1.8 million shares in a day and a half so it's pretty decent volume so the monthly time frame chart is really what sets up that next price target area and that's at the 401 level now if we take a look at consecutive days to the upside to the downside uh, we are now in looks like uh, bar number seven out there so very strong move last time Dan that this got to a seven bar move consecutive to the upside was back on uh, February the 14th, Valentine's Day, and then price started moving lower. I'm not saying it's going to follow that same pattern of moving lower for, you know, a couple of weeks out there. But just, you know, be paying attention that you're getting there. Now, in the monthly chart, you're going to be in bar number eight of a TD9 count as it approaches the breakdown resistance level out there. So everything looks like it still wants to rally. But just be cautious about those consecutive days to the upside. You should see at least a one or two bar knee jerk reaction low is what it looks like to Stevo. Let's move on and take a look at VICR. This is for ELO. Jeff Lynn inside the Tiger's Den out there. BICR is doing what? Well, it's trading above profile resistance on the daily time frame. Trade above uh, the high from yesterday, the day before that out there. Looks pretty good to Stevie. There's one exception out here, ELO. And this is the most important thing, really, with regard to this stock that you want to watch. I'm going to just simply expand out the weekly chart out here. In fact, I'm going to do it even better than that. When we take a look at this weekly chart, we can see how price for quite a while has been below the bottom of its weekly profile. It's been below the bottom of the weekly profile since April, uh, April 19th of uh, this year. Uh, what it's doing today, what it did last week, this is the weekly chart, it ran into resistance at the bottom of that profile. The real level where a counter trend move, I have no idea ELO if this is a counter trend move or not. What I do know is if this is a counter trend move, price would find resistance between 36.32 and it looks like it's 37.64. So 37.64 is the real number to be looking at. If price can close above that, it tells you that it's more than a counter trend move. Its next battle would be at 40.28 out there. So that's the thing to be watching with regard to Vicor Corp out here. The monthly chart does have resistance at its oscillator and change line. That's up at the level of... And it's not even populated with anything. What the heck's going on there? There we go. It's... a. Uh, Oscillator and change lines at 38.19 uh, for you. So the daily looks just fine. No problems there. It's that weekly level that you really need to be watching when it comes to Vicor Corp. So ELO, I hope that helps you out. And thanks again for playing the game. Hey, send your request in to Stevie because he loves taking a look at them. Let's go take a look at that next one, which is Nail. This is from Jambalai inside the Tiger Set. Boy, the daily looks pretty spectacular here. Nice uh, move to the upside. I don't see any resistance. Let's just open up the chart, see if it's trading into anything that we can identify. It's trading into a swing point from back on May 15th. That swing had volume of 323,000 shares out there. It's moving into it today with 699. You know what that says? What this tells us, Jamba, is that price should at least go target that swing high. And that high at 132.20 out there. So that's the initial call from Stevie when we take a look at the daily chart. The weekly chart says, hey, I'm on board with that. I'm trading above profile resistance at 113.24. I'm trading above that green oscillator and change line. The weekly chart says, I want to go target that swing point from March 29th, anywhere between 139.66 and 153.40. And on a monthly time frame, you're trading above profile, you're trading above that green oscillator and change line. Everything in nail looks to me like it wants to continue to move higher. So, Jamba, I hope that helps you out with regard to that. I think Fletch wanted to take a look at PHYS out there. I may have misread that. And if I did, my apology. But we take a look at PHYS. What do we have? Well, today, it appears that it's going to negate a daily TD9 count top. And Fletch, that TD9 count top for him yesterday. You know what that tells us? You've got a strong upward momentum move for PHYS. What is PHYS? Let's go find out. It is physical gold trust out there. Well, 
Gold also, it looks like it wants to go uh, negate its TD9 count top. So this is following right along with that. Let's go look at the weekly time frame chart, see if we can identify any kind of resistance out here. Well, that resistance is really at the high for May 24th. Now, we have no idea on Tuesday at 11.35 in the morning whether price will close above 1893. We're at 1908 right now. If it does close above that, then the weekly chart has no top and says it wants to continue to move higher. On a monthly time frame, this is going to go ahead and complete a monthly monthly top, a TD9 count top, that is, at a month end on uh, June the, uh, July the 31st out there. I believe that is, I believe that is a trading day. So the monthly, uh, you're going to get a top out there. On a uh, weekly, looks like you're going to negate. And on a daily, looks like you're going to negate a TD9 count top out there. So it uh, looks like this wants to continue to move higher. But you got to take a look at gold and watch gold and so forth. So, Fletch, I hope that helped you out with regard to pH. Why, yes, that was the uh, Sprott Physical Gold Trust out there. Our next request coming in from GTE. And GTE wants to take a look at the uh, EWH. EWH is the uh, Hong Kong market ETF out there or some version of it, the MSI Hong Kong ETF. What is it doing? So on a daily basis, this has a, a Roadsman indicator bottom. Price is uh, trading below the bottom of its daily profile. The next area of support on this GTE would be its oscillator and change line. The present print at 1136 in the morning on July 16th is at 1529. On a weekly time frame, you just have a consolidation with inside its uh, weekly profile. We can see that last, last week's nice rally ran right into resistance at the beginning of the sell zone. The sell zone established by that bearish structured weekly profile. And that sell zone is between 1603 and 1638. And on a monthly time frame out here, what do we have? We just have a consolidation with inside its profiles as well, and that runs from a range of 1533 up to 1672, followed by 1776 out there. Um, and you were saying this has something to do, meaning Trump will win or what have you. Well, that, I don't know. What I can tell you is I can tell you what it's doing here technically, where price is likely headed to. And so we'll just have to leave it like that, GTE. You had a second request, which was to take a look at Schwab, Charles Schwab out there. I don't think I had the ability to get that set up. I did not, but we're going to go ahead and punch in those charts right now, SCHW. So let's take a look at what Charles Schwab is doing. I know it was trading lower, is my recollection. Although we've got to let these charts here populate, SCHW. And um, uh, this is really having a bad day. In fact, this is having such a bad day, it might confirm a daily and a A to B equals CD pattern of the downside. So um, let's do this here. We're going to change screens. We'll come back. We'll take a look at that A to B equals CD pattern on the uh, daily time frame out here for Charles Schwab. That's going to be the black background chart. And we're going to do that when we get back to this break, folks. So we'll have that A to B equals CD pattern. Of course, you can figure that one out on your own as well. See if we match up when we get back to this break. spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey you've no doubt come across many folks who push forex trading as a way to make big money quickly unfortunately there are equally as many stories of these so-called forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the forex market this is what sets teddy Keckstack's the tiger forex report off the riffraff Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. 
former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member. Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Dot com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Welcome back, folks. So we got Charles Schwab's uh, charts on our screen out here. The daily time frame confirming an A to B equals CD pattern to the downside out here. Let's take a look at that. That one to one. So we can see here the A point was at 79.49. The high from May 22nd. The low from May 29th was the B point at 69.48. The retracement, the next high that follows, is up at the July 12th level out there. 72% retracement, so a little bit less than a 0.786. And now we've got the confirmation. We've got big volume today. We're at 14 million shares. That's taking out 5.6 million shares. The one-to-one -one price projection is at 66.99. Now, the way this has come off that C point out there, and today you've got a big wide-ranging bar, odds favor it's not going to stop at 66.69. It can, but odds favor that it's not going to, and the next price projection level would be down at 63.97. Now, that's in the daily time frame. The weekly time frame is also going to confirm an A to B equals CD pattern. The downside, the weekly uh, had a swing point of 29 million. We're already at 25 million, but it's the same A to B equals CD pattern that we looked at out there. So where's the next level of support on a further move lower other than A to B equals CD target? 61.65. That's the top of that weekly profile. So we had 66.69 on the daily, one-to-one. 63.97 one. is 1.272. Unless there's a bullish reversal candle that forms, I think 61.65 looks like the uh, price target for Charles Schwab. G-Man would like to take a look at um, Amazon, I believe it was. So let's pull up Amazon. I think you said you were in the call position here. So what is Amazon doing? Well, in the case of Amazon, it has a TD9 count top. That TD9 count top formed on July 2nd. That high has not been taken out. It has a Rhodes Mentum indicator top. That, firm, that confirmed on July 8th with a uh, key reversal bar. You have a wave number seven top out there. So three tops. That means just all that means is trying to form a top, and it has. Then we had price close below the bottom of its profile on July 11th. Uh, it rallied up into it the following day. It rallied up into it yesterday. It rallied up into it again today. If you're asking Stevie, Where's resistance on Amazon? That's pretty easy. 195.98. Now, the weekly time frame, a weekly time frame shows a Rhodes Mentum indicator topping pattern out there. Price is below its oscillator and change line. So we're below profile on the daily. We're below the oscillator and change line on the weekly time frame. You know what that says to us, G-Man? We should see Amazon pull back into the 182, 178 level. Those are those weekly profile areas. If we take a look at the monthly chart, monthly chart is going to go ahead and maybe form a TD9 count top between this month and um, you don't see the chart. Sorry. Thank you. Sign. 
Thank you. Thank you for being my wingman out there. Steve, you forgot to change. At least somebody. At least we had one person paying attention out there. Sorry about that, but thank you very much for catching me. Now let's get back to the uh, set of charts out here, Joe. So here's the daily time frame. Let's start again. Let me just open up the daily time frame chart. Let's take a look at the first top that forms out here. On this day right here, which was the TD9 count top, that high was out at uh, 200.43. We've never had price close above that. We've had price test that, but never close above it. First high. Second high that comes in is that Rhodesman Dim Indicator top. Price was stretched. We uh, it exceeded the prior day's low, the prior day's high, closed in well, at least one tick in the opposite direction. That's a uh, Rhodesman Dim Indicator confirmed top. Then we have a new profile that forms that very next day on July 9th at the close, confirmed a wave number seven top. Here we can see price closed below the profile on July 11th. We can see the next day and the following day, which was yesterday, try to get back inside those profiles, unable to do that. And today was the, again, one more shot at that. This suggests to Stevie that price should head lower because price is unable to take out resistance. That is Amazon. Now, what could what could change that? Well, the one thing when we take a look at Amazon on the daily time frame is this is going to be at least it's either had three consecutive moves to the downside and that's going to have a one to two bar rally out there. So you could see that out here if we get four days to the downside odds favor, you know, one to two day rally out there. So we may be getting a, a rally out here because of just simply the normal dance steps out there but uh, right now longer term daily says be careful will robinson weekly says absolutely be careful because that confirmed top and the weekly says eh, maybe you guys are just playing around here i don't know that i'm really ready to top not until probably september out there so gee man that's what i see when i take those amazon charts hope that helps you out and as always thanks for your request dan inside the tiger den would like to take a look at cvm is the uh, ticker symbol out here C CBM trading at a buck forty-three. It's above profile resistance on the daily time frame. We've got pretty nice volume today, three hundred thousand shares so far. Now, it's that weekly time frame that's really about to tell you what this intent really, what its intent really is. Why is that, Stevie? Because this was a bullish structured uh, weekly profile. That, but by the way, this has a Roachman indicator bottom. That's way back here from October twenty-seventh of twenty twenty-three. Is this TD9 does not have a TD9 count bottom pattern out there, but does have that one that is still in play. Nonetheless, what's really most important is price closed below the bottom of that bullish structured weekly profile the week of June 28th, the week of July 5th, and even last week. Now, price is taking on that counter trend move level. So you're really looking for this to close the week out above 141. We're at 143. Those two pennies make it really hard to know whether or not price is going to move higher. We're not out there, but if you gig, you can't get it closed by that 141 level. I would say, Dan, this is going to make a successful move to 166. If it can clear 166, 239 would be the number. If we look at the monthly time frame chart, not a lot there for me to go with. I can just share with you that the monthly chart really is a similar signal, quite frankly. How about that? The monthly chart shows two consecutive months of closing below the bull structure profile. So that resistance level happens to be at 150 so now you got 141 and 150 to be paying attention to just note those levels down on your pad of paper what does that mean that means if you can close above 150 you should be off to the races now those races are not getting ready to start in the next couple of days likely why because today is bar number eight of a td9 count and what do we know we know on a td9 count especially when you have a bar number eight like this that's well above bar number four and uh, well above bar number five's close out there you're going to get a 90 percent chance of a td9 count top forming between today and thursday of this week so i would expect to see some type of pullback if you're in this on a long position i'm going to cross my fingers that even after all that said and done maybe it's just a one-day pullback or something that you get a close above 150 to tell you that that this thing is in a uh, long-term lottery ticket. Perfect. Now you know those levels that are going to tell you that you've got that first number on that lottery ticket out there. So, Dan, hope that helped you out. And uh, thank you to everyone out there sending in all those requests. That's a beautiful thing. I believe I've gotten through everything. Just checking my phone. I have. If I've overlooked something inside the Tiger's Den, please tell me. and We'll squeeze that in if we can for the very last uh, uh, segment, which is just a few moments in time. In the meantime, let's go to those intraday day trading charts. Let's go look at that ES Mini, see what it's doing out here. 
10 minute chart is uh, trading uh, into uh, support levels. The next level of support, it's trading, one level of support is what it's testing right now, 56.99. We take a look at that next level sound of 56.92. In the case of the uh, 15 minute chart, nothing really to add there. You've got a TD9 count top on the 30 minute chart out here. The 30 minute chart is testing support right now. This is probably the time frame to be paying attention to. Support is down at the level of 56. 97. If price closed below 56.97, that green oscillator and change line, we should see a move to either 56.88 or 56.82. If we take a look at that entire top row of charts out there, roads with some indicators for the five hour, the four hour, and the two hour time frame chart out there, but it's really all about those bottom panels out there. Can price start breaking through key levels of support? Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. Welcome back, folks. We're taking a look at Oracle in just a moment. We're taking a look at the 10-minute uh, chart here for Nike out here, which if it can close above 72.64, we'll go ahead and trigger an A to B equals CD pattern on the upside. The 10-minute chart here, we've got another six minutes. This bar has got volume of... Um, 
so far of 840,000 shares going after volume of 675. So even if it doesn't uh, close above that level, it should go target again just simply because of the volume. Formed a beautiful wave number seven. That's a Basil Chapman Chapman wave uh, signal out there. Did that at uh, 4 o'clock yesterday afternoon when you loaded up on your calls. And uh, then you had a gap to the upside this morning at the open. That confirmed on a 10-minute basis a Rhodesman to indicator top out there. So that's what's going on intraday. You'd love to see a daily bullish reversal candle. That would give you a Rhodes momentum indicator bottom weekly and monthly still look pretty ugly out there let's go take a look at those charts here for oracle orcl that is for jambalaya so oracle right now yesterday went ahead and confirmed a roads momentum indicator top and price is just consolidating with inside its profile it hasn't even taken out yesterday's low out there which is uh, more bullish than it is bearish. If it does get below yesterday's low, you could easily see a move back to 138.78. That is profile support. On a uh, weekly basis, you have a TD9 count top that formed two weeks ago. Um, you know, and and this week you could you could get a Rhodes momentum indicator top out there. All that would do is suggest to move back to the 137.48. That brings out that 138.78 level of that daily profile. And finally, on the monthly time frame for Oracle. Bar number seven, no kind of a top. So maybe this is nothing more than just a pullback to support and price resumes higher. And then Oracle doesn't top for a, a couple months or so. But uh, if you did get a bearish reversal candle on a monthly basis, then you would have a confirmed Rhodes Mint indicator top. So we've got a few seconds left. Let's switch back. Let's go take a gold, the GDX out here in silver. So take a look at gold. Gold is up at the touch, negated its TD9 count top. Now, ordinarily, Stevie would say that's bullish, and it is bullish out there. However, it's trading right up into the top of its consolidation pattern. I would say in order to really be bullish, you need to see a close above 24.77, the high from May 20th out there. Uh, and maybe it's going to do that. But right now, just getting to the top of the consolidation out there. And on the GDX, you're negating its TD9 count top. And uh, that's a beautiful thing. This could be a gigantic A to B equals CD pad on the upside. Folks, stay tuned for all the great programming. I'll look forward to being back with you tomorrow on wonderful Wednesday. Please have a terrific Tuesday. Be safe out there and be nice to someone. In fact, everyone. Take care, folks.